Good morning and happy Wednesday. Well, we're getting right into it this morning with our satellite and radar loop. We had some disturbances making their way through our area for our overnights. Cool temp or cool uh, wind pushing its way into central Montana, making its way into eastern Montana. Now that's going to continue to push its way into the Dakotas as we get into the later hours of this morning. We'll have a little bit of a break as we go in throughout our day, but come this evening we will have another wave of precipitation coming into our area. Now our current temperatures on this Wednesday are in the 30s, 40s and low 50s. We have this upper level uh, trough that is in control of our weather. That's bringing cooler temperatures for this week as well as precipitation starting this evening and lasting through Saturday or Sunday, depending on how slow this weather system pushes out of our area. But as we get into this weekend, come Sunday into Monday, we do have an upper level ridge that is going to start be build, start building into our area again. That's going to bring dry conditions as well as warmer temperatures temperatures in the 70s. For today, mostly sunny skies starting out, getting increased cloud cover. We're going to be mainly dry throughout the day as well. A few isolated showers in western Montana, but as we get into this evening and into early on Thursday, widespread precipitation is moving its way from south up into our moving its way from south to north into portions of central and western Montana. Now the precipitation is going to come in the form of rain for the lower elevation areas and for the upper elevation areas along the Rocky Mountain front here. You can see the blue and the pink that is snow or rain and snow mix. So it is cold enough that we will be getting some snow up on top of those higher elevation areas. Now precipitation is going to be persisting in western and portions of central Montana throughout this afternoon into this evening. Another wave of disturbance will be making its way through and then We'll be heading into Friday. We're not going to see a ton of breeze for us here um, starting out in the morning, but this afternoon we will get gustier conditions upwards of 40 miles an hour. There you can see for Helena, 30 miles an hour upwards for Great Falls. Now that's going to be for this afternoon. That wind is going to shift as we head into Thursday, however, over into eastern Montana where gusts can get upwards of 30 miles an hour over near Glasgow. Now widespread haze is still in our area for today. That's going to be remaining mainly in portions of central and northwestern Montana. As we head into Thursday, we will start to see the smoke shift into areas east of I-15 and some spots where there is some smoke. Uh, so we can see that air quality go from good to moderate. For our highs today, we are going to be ranging in the upper 50s, 60s and low 70s. Our overnight temperatures are going to be ranging in the 40s and low 50s with that precipitation coming into our area. And then as we head into tomorrow, highs are going to be get a little bit cooler, getting into the upper 40s, 50s, low 60s, and even the 70s over in Glasgow. Now for the Great Falls, 3 to 7 day, a high of 66 for today. Precipitation possible through this weekend with warmer temperatures on the other half. I'll have a look at that Helena 7-day forecast right after the break.